Yes, I've showered and changed pajamas and glasses. So we're gonna recap real quick. Uh, we've created a click track. We downloaded and installed Expand. We were just kind of, you, hopefully you spent the last couple few minutes going through Expand sounds and categories. And uh, just to recap, here's Expand. Here's all the different categories. Each category has a whole bunch of sounds. We're gonna put a drum loop into the song or whatever little piece we're, we're starting with. So I'm going over here and what this means is pop hop 101 plus. It's saying this loop was made for tempos around 101. So it's not really that exact, but you probably wouldn't want a drum beat that's made for 159 played at a tempo of 78. So I'm gonna choose something like pop hop 93 and I'm gonna hit the C1 because that's just a basic loop. And you can go through loops, but I'm just gonna go with this one. Pop Hop 93. Um, and just so you know, we're gonna switch plugins here in a bit. I'm not an Expand fan. I just wanna show you how you can use it if you're on a budget. So we're gonna put this drum loop into this song. So we've been working with the mix screen. This is the mix screen where you see the faders, right? But we're gonna get back to the edit screen. What is our command? Command equal. Command equal, now we're back at what's called the edit screen, which is your timeline of your song up here. Make sure you have this at bars and beats. And you can, if you want, have a show a sub counter and have this one be minutes and seconds. So you can see, oh, the course doesn't come in until 114. So here we are, we're gonna put a loop on, we play C1 on our keyboard. Okay, how do we make sure it comes in right at bar one? So first of all, you hit return to go back to the beginning of the song. And to record, the keyboard shortcut is command and spacebar. You will note that in the Mac, if you go to system preferences and under spotlight, there's something you have to turn off. You go to spotlight and you go to keyboard shortcuts. Hope not that, yes. And you wanna make sure this is unchecked because this command spacebar is a Mac global command that makes you search on the Mac. But very few people use it. Uncheck this, uncheck this. So when you hit command spacebar, it records in Pro Tools as opposed to calling up this spotlight thing. So we're gonna put this loop on beat one of the song. So we're just gonna play a loop and loop it, okay? So what do we do? Down here in the transport, you'll notice there's this button right here. It says, if you hold, put your mouse over most any button on Pro Tools, it'll show you what it is. It says, wait for note. We're gonna click on that. And what that means is, it's gonna wait to record until we press a note, okay? So I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna hit Command Spacebar to go into record. I'm holding down the key. Sounds a little wonky right now, don't worry about it. I'm gonna hold it down for a full four bars. Okay, there we go. So now if we hit space bar, which is to play, we've got our click track working with our loop at 97. If I decide with MIDI you can do this, I want it to be a little slower. Let's go to 95. I go to my tempo in my transport, hit return, a little bit slower. Just to show you, let's go down to 80. So I'm gonna keep it at 95. Okay, so our tempo is at 95. This little thing right here is a note. So we're gonna zoom in. There's, these are the tools in Pro Tools. And to, but the keyboard shortcut to zoom in is Command and the right bracket, which is right above the return key. And you'll see I'm zooming in. And you'll see that the note doesn't end right at bar five. So I'm gonna take what's called the trimmer tool, which is right here. And I'm going to make sure I'm in grid mode, which means I'm moving in beats. Slip mode means I'm not moving to anything. You can move the mouse anywhere you want. And you'll notice if I get the selector tool and you see up here, there's these, all these odd numbers. If I go to grid mode and I start clicking, I'm only, it's always gonna be at the beat because I'm 
putting my cursor at the grid. I'm going to go to the trim mode and I'm going to go right here and there is the loop. I probably want to trim this note too. We're looking at what's called clips. I want to work with the note. I'm going to go right here, say notes. There's my note. I'm going to keep this trim tool and I'm going to make sure there it is right at the bead. Now I'm going to go to the, the selector tool right here and I'm going to highlight. It's easier to go from right to left than it is to try to go from, I want to highlight this whole thing. If I tried to go right to left, it's, it's a little tricky clicking right on the beat. I always go, I mean, left to right. I'm going to go right to left. So now I've got, you'll notice right here, these numbers are so important. It, and you, I have an even four bars. So I want to repeat that. And on the Mac, under the Edit menu, is this right here. You'll notice there's the keyboard shortcut. I can duplicate, and you'll see what duplicate does. It just makes one more. If I undo, which is Command-Z, Command-Z, you'll remember that because when you screw up something, Command-Z, undo it. It's up here under Undo. I'm going to repeat, which is this little thing right here. It's Option-R. And there we go. How many times do you want to repeat this? Well, I probably want it 50 times. And now, bam! And now, I'm going to hit return. I've got this drum loop to play to for, let's close, expand, just so we can see. To zoom out, you double click on the zoomer and it shows the whole song. And if you think, you know what, that's a little bit too much. I'm going to only have 100 bars. I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to hit the delete key. I'm going to hit return. I'm going to double click on the zoomer to show the whole song. And there I have my song, and I can see if I go to the end here, it's four minutes, still a little bit long. Let's just trim it a little bit more so we have a closer to a three minute song or something. There we go. So there's three minutes of drum loop in this song. Let's stop there and we'll move on.